the complacency trap. This is a big one because I think it's very dangerous to fall into, but it's also kind of inevitable to fall into. And I'll tell you what I mean. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. We're back here again, almost at the end of January. How scary is that? I was saying the new year's gonna start like seemingly yesterday and we're already a month in, which I guess I mean before I can talk about this complacency thing means I hope you've had a good first month. You know, I remember at the start of the year I was talking a lot about like the 80% of people who just drop off the face of the earth with their goals. And hopefully that hasn't been you because if it has, it doesn't really matter. You can just get back onto it. A new year's just like kind of a convenient time to start a habit or pick up something new, but realistically at any point in the year, you can just start doing something new. So if you're feeling demotivated, Hey, a Monday's coming up, fresh start to the week. I like to start things on the fresh start of the week because I think it just works best. So, January hasn't been the best for you. That's all right. Let's get back on it. It's going to be a Monday. We're into February. We're getting into things. But no, the big thing I want to talk about this week is the complacency trap because it's something I've really realized a lot lately in regards to my own success with YouTube. And I'll explain, I'll explain. So it's not, complacency trap might not be the right word. It's, it's more of a cycle. And I think it's kind of inevitable, uh, an inevitable part of kind of just getting more and more success. So let me explain what I mean. Let's say yeah, you start working out. I think working out is probably the most realistic thing that this applies to most people. Oh, you start a diet and losing weight, right? So the first step is making that conscious decision. Uh, decision and the second step is working towards that goal. Maybe that's losing weight, maybe that's building muscle, and over time, whether that's maybe a few months, half a year, you'll actually make really, really good progress. Especially if it's something like working out and you're doing it for the first time, you got new big gains, you'll be building muscle mass faster than you ever will in your life. You'll be making a bunch of progress, and that is super duper 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 motivating in the beginning. That's what we love to see. But you might realize the more muscle you put on, the more fat you lose. You know, you might be working out four or five times a week. You're kind of like, oh, look at all this progress I've made. I guess I could skip this workout, or oh, I mean, I could just have another cheat meal this week. And you know, you start to kind of have all these little things creep in because you've made so much success and you're starting to get, you guessed it, complacent. It's a really bad thing. <laughs> not that it's not really bad, but I think it's something you want to be conscious of and self-aware of so you can avoid the downfall of it. Because if you're not aware of it, you might just slowly start, you know, you keep creeping things in, you skip a workout here, another one there, eat this, eat that, your progress stagnates. And maybe you could realize that and then that, that kind of kicks you back into gear, but some people kind of just fade off and taper off. They're like, oh, I made good progress. I'm fine with that. And they, they kind of reach back to square one. Maybe they're a bit more jacked. They've lost some weight, but you want that to keep going. You don't want to lose that momentum when you're making such good progress because it's such a fulfilling thing to do. So I think the first step is of course being conscious of it. And I can give you the best example with my YouTube channel. I've noticed the complacency, uh, what are we calling it, cycle trap with my own YouTube channel the most. Because if you know me last year, I did my 100 day thing. And that's the most productive 100 days I've ever had in my life. I just sat down, hunkered down, made videos, worked on myself for 100 days straight. And it was, it was crazy. I don't regret doing it at all. I, I wouldn't do it again, but I don't regret it at all. Because the amount of work I put into YouTube in that time was insane. And the, like the benefit showed. I mean, I had that Bingzoi video coming in at almost 6 million views now. What the fuck is up with that? I worked so hard. I was putting out high quality videos out every two weeks, maybe two to three weeks, uh, long projects. I was doing so much work with YouTube because it's all I wanted to just get better at. And I did, I did, I did it. I went from what? I think I started my 100 day challenge about, and I think I went into it with about 50,000 subs and I came out of it with about 140,000, 150,000. I think I almost got 100K subs in uh, 100 days, which was beautiful, maybe even more. But anyway, I had all this success. I worked super hard. And then for the last four months since I've left it, I've kind of realized I've sort of taken my foot off the brake. I haven't been going as hard as I was. The fire in my belly subsided a bit for multiple reasons, but hey, don't worry. I'll talk to you about that in a couple of weeks with the high quality video you'll be seeing on the second channel. Uh, yeah, my foot's just been off the brake. You know, I'm, I'm not working as hard. I kind of have this... I could just explain it in like normal terms. It's just like, I have this like a constant amount of views I get every day, which provides me with a nice level of income. And I'm like, huh, that's kind of neat. But the thing is that's going to dry up sooner or later. Actually, I say that and it's actually getting better for some reason. Let me, I'll explain some YouTube stuff. Maybe you're interested in this. I think for like the last, since the Bing Sway video, like kind of fell out of the algorithm a bit, it still gets 15,000 views a day, every day. Without fail. It hasn't like stooped below that ever. And and currently I think it's getting 25,000 views a day. This thing is like the backbone of my channel and I'm so thankful for it. But this feeds into the complacency thing, right? It's just giving me this like baseline level of views, which is just helping keeping my channel healthy and nice, which is great. I'm so thankful for it. What I've realized is it's made me more complacent. I'm not working. I'm working one fifth of what, how hard I was working when I put myself in that hundred day thing. Uh, I guess I've had different priorities recently. Like I've been focusing more on my health, especially my relationships going out more because I kind of neglected that. So it's, it's kind of like a byproduct of balancing things. But even so, I've still taken my I've still taken my foot off the pedal a disproportionate amount. And that's where I've 100% noticed the complacency trap the most in my own life. 
uh, and I really want to change that. Like I'm, con- I'm conscious of it now, but I still, I know it's going to take a- another kick in the ass. It's going to take me to get really determined again with YouTube. It's not that I'm not doing any work, and it's also because I'm doing this long video that's going to be out in like April, which I just have to spend three hours a day doing. So it's not like I'm doing no work. I'm still working like <laughs> five, six hours a day, but it's just not as like, I don't know. It just doesn't feel as, as good as it was. You know, I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere near as much done. I'm not uploading as much, even though I'm like, I'm still working pretty hard, but I want to change that. And I think you should be conscious of this because maybe if you've been following my channel since its inception, you've probably made some actually really good progress in certain areas of your life, whether that's upskilling yourself at school, maybe it's working out, uh, reading, mental health. You've probably made good progress. And, and you might be at that stage now where you're like, oh, I don't need to read this morning. I don't need to meditate this morning. I've done so much of it. I already have the benefit. I don't need to. And that's just completely the wrong thing to, to, uh, to do. But I guess I should actually finish the complacency uh, cycle because you get to that stage, right, where you are complacent. The results aren't as good anymore. And then the next step is, of course, well, I need to improve things so I can get back to that good state. So I guess if you can think about part one is you start the work. Start two is you start like reaping the benefits of that work. Part three is you stop working as hard because the benefits are nice. Step four is kind of like your results start to fall off because of how complacent you've been. And then step five is you kick yourself back into gear and it kind of loops from there. Or if you're not doing it the right way, you let that complacency fully stop you from doing the good thing, which I think is probably the bad ending. So hopefully that's not the case. Uh, hopefully it's a kick in the ass to get back on track. But I just want you to be conscious of it because I think the complacency effect is a huge thing. I hear it a lot with working out. I haven't had it as much with working out, but some people start to make nice gains. You know, they're looking huge. They're on the trend. Fucking biceps are bulging, bro. And then they just start to like, they get they get lazy with it because they've done it for so long. They start, they start just cheating on themselves, really. They're not working as hard as they should be. And I've been doing that with YouTube. And it's just something I want to talk about with you because if it's happening in your, some, some aspect of your life, you've got a bit complacent. How about we give ourselves a little bit of a kick in the ass and uh, get back on track? How about that? So that's basically what I want to cover this week. I guess I could finish off by just saying my January. My January's been pretty good, especially when it comes to weight loss, my relationships, my mental health. All that's been the best it's been. But my work ethic has slugged a bit, which is why I'm going to try to improve into February, especially with the goals I've set. I, I really need to kick myself in, in the ass and get, get working hard. So that's going to be my big thing moving into February. But I guess here's my here's my cope is because January is when ad revenue hits rock bottom. I'm not saying I'm purely motivated by money, but if there's a month where I should slack off, it's January. So <laughs> I'm treating January more. It was kind of just a month where I lost, I think I lost about four kilos, which is nice. I finished four books. I'm on my fifth book, which is great. Doing all the good habits. Uh, I've been going out a lot more and seeing people and just because I neglected my social life for so long. So I'm kind of fixing that. But yeah, that's basically where I'm at. January, I'll give it like a six, six, seven out of 10. It's pretty good, but it was, we can do better. We will do better. We'll all do better. We'll all fucking, we'll all make it, won't we? That's all I want to say. I hope you're doing well. Uh, be careful of complacency. It can, it's good. It's just good to be self-aware about where you are in the complacency, uh, the complacency cycle. Um, because if you are, you know, if you're, if you're falling off track, it could be a good time to kick yourself in the ass, get back on the grind, get them results you want and start feeling fulfilled, feeling good, feeling great. God bless. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think we'll leave it there. That's basically what I want to cover. So you know what that means. Farewell, elite level gamer.